Hey there, I'm Mr. Big Crush. Right now, we are going to try to glue up some short course uh, wheels and tires. Jimmy Martin and I are starting a grassroots race team, and Jimmy and I are going to be racing um, techno short course trucks. So these are DE Racing short course wheels, and we have... Uh, whole shot pro line uh, tires and I'm going to use ProTech RC glue and I got some acetone to clean the tires with the, the rims and tires with now I'm not a real experienced racer like 11 or 12 years ago I did race some short course trucks two wheel drive tracks but what we're getting ready to do now is a whole different game we're going to be racing in Irondale, Ohio, at Brown's Hobby Shop. And they race on Saturdays and Sundays. And they actually have, it's like a super cross track. And it's really a nice place. I've been wanting to race over there for years, but my job has held me back. But this year, I think I'm going to be able to pull it off. So, I'm just unboxing this stuff while we're talking. I love these tires. I love pins. You know, back when I used to run a lot of Traxxas and and uh, RC tens, two wheel drive RC tens, pins always done the best. So, and I am a little bit experienced at gluing up tires, but if uh, I can always, I need all the advice I can get. If you if you have some suggestions, by all means, all all means. Uh, uh, put it in the comments and I'm not the best at world in the world at making videos I have some videos on my YouTube channel here and I'm trying I'm going to, I'm in the process of amping my YouTube channel up so uh, but I'm not making real professional videos yet but I'm working on it so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to test fit this first of course, you know, short course truck has a three inch in the back and it's just 2.2 in the front. So it has a big hole in the back, a little hole in the front. So I'm just going to squeeze this together. And uh, what I want to do is I want to get it together here and get it where it's supposed to go so that I can strategically, I know I haven't cleaned it yet because I'm going to take it back apart. And uh, so, because I want to strategically get this in a, in a certain place. So you, you see how that bead is perfect on there right now? So on this side, the bead's not even in yet. So I'm just going to go around right here and put the bead on. And try to squish it in there where it needs to be. So this was pretty uneventful. You know, this... But the thing about it is, see, I got it squeezed up there to where the bead is perfect in the front and in the back. But we don't have any glue on there. So what's going to happen is we're going to uh, we're going to try to put glue on these rims and then get the tires beaded just like this, so we can do a good job. So probably what I'm going to try to do is. First, I'm gonna, I'll probably move the tire back like this. Now this is not cleaning, I can't put glue on it. So I'm probably just gonna, I'm gonna put a bunch of glue in here. And then I'm gonna put the tire on and get it all set. This glue I got is a thick glue. It's not gonna glue, it's not gonna dry instantly. So, so I got the, the, the tire back where it needs to be. Then I'm gonna come to this side and I'm probably going to try to back it up, pull this back to where I can get glue in there. And this side here is not going to be, this side here is not going to be easy. I wish I could stretch it to where it would be out of the way completely. So probably what I'm going to do is I'll probably start gluing here at the D. I'll pull this back, start gluing, put it in, and then I'll go around. Then when I get back to the D again, I'll know that I've got a complete 
glue joint. And what really stinks about it is, is that this side here is uh, the side you're going to see, and I'm probably will get glue all over it, you know. But right here, it looks like I could put the glue on easy, just slap it on here and get it beat it up. Maybe I could do that. So let's try that again. Let's see if I could just put the glue on, slap it on, pull the back back, and then maybe I could go ahead and bead the front up first like this. If it'll go in there where I want it. So I got the front beaded up now. And then I could glue the back all the way around, all the way around, and then, then, then pull the bead over into the glue like this. <laughs> oh boy. If you don't think this ain't worked, you have to love this to do it. I mean, you have to love your hobby to work this hard. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get the acetone out and we're going to clean rims and tires. And then we're going to glue rims and tires. All right. And like I said, suggestions, man. I need suggestions, suggestions, suggestions. So I'm going to go ahead and get the, uh, I bought this new tube of glue here, this new little bottle of glue. Let's see. Oh, it comes with this crazy long tip. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never used a tip like that before. Let's see what it looks like. This thing. Yeah, it looks like the glue's ready to come out of there already. Oh, yeah, I see some glue right there on the, on the very tip. See that glue right there? So I could possibly put this on there. Put this end on here like that then maybe cut it right around here where my thumb is at and that would make it real nice and long man i could just squirt that glue right in there let's see if this will cut right off yeah check that out so now i could probably use that long go in there and, and glue this thing up okay Let's get the acetone on. I know you're getting bored. You know, YouTube is a very, very competitive place. And it's hard, you know, I already know how hard it is. I've already made a bunch of videos that I thought would do good. One time I ate raw potatoes for 40 days and 40 nights. And and I and I just thought, man, I got the best idea in the world. Everybody in the world's gonna watch it. I did lose like 33 pounds. All the videos are still on there. So I've got the acetone. You can see the acetone on here. So I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I get down in the, the, the in the bead. So I'm going to make sure I clean the bead, cleaning the bead right now. Yeah. So I thought eating these potatoes and stuff, I thought, man, I'm going to be famous Man, hardly anybody watch those videos, which I, I look, I am very excited for the experience. The experience was overwhelming. I did make some really good friends. And uh, and I'm really proud of that because I love making buddies, friends, you know. So, uh, like this video here, you know, there's a million videos on YouTube about this. But I got to glue these wheels up and tires up. So, I might as well just go ahead and make the video and put the content on there. There may be somebody on there that can give me a better way to do it, or maybe they like the way I do it. Like I said, I have a little bit of experience with, I'm big into crawlers and well, I've been gluing up wheels for, you know, close to 30 years. So I just need, you know, I'm not on the new racing scene. So I haven't raced. The last time I raced was probably, the winter of 2009, 2009, 2010, and 2010 and 11. And uh, me and my son, Stuart, we raced short truck, short course trucks back then. And, and then uh, his mother wanted a divorce. 
And uh, after our divorce was final, we never raced again because, you know, she sent the, she sent him all the time while we was getting a divorce so she could be with her new man all the time. But then when, but then when divorce was final and the judge said, you know, I could say I could see him every two weeks. Well, she just basically never sent him again. And then the judge didn't want to do much about it. And when you're a guy in America, it's hard to get a divorce because it always seems like the lady gets all the special treatment. So that's where, that's all I'm going to say about that. So it's been a while since I raced. So I'm not being shy right here. And I am trying to get acetone in that lip right here. Because a lot of times they'll roll right in here in this lip. They'll roll, the tire will roll in that lip right there. So, you know, you take your time and for God's sakes, don't just glue these wheels up without cleaning them, at least with lacquer thinner or acetone. Um, you know, I've glued them up before without you. I didn't have any out lacquer thinner or acetone. I just glued them up anyway and it did work fine. But why, if you have the, uh, the stuff you need, why not just do it? You know, it's no big deal. All right. You know, we're going to be gluing. See, what's going to happen is this is going to be a party. When I start gluing this, I'm going to be making, I'm going to be making mistakes. And if anybody's watching, they're going to be laughing. Professionals are going to be like, oh man, you're doing this so wrong. You know? Yeah, well, I probably am. So make a comment all I can say and uh but I will tell you I'm gluing up Jimmy's wheels first <laughs> after I glue all of Jimmy's for him and then I'll glue mine up and I guarantee you I will be a lot better at it by the time I get to his to my wheels and tires don't you think because I haven't haven't done it in a while I did glue up a couple of years ago I have a techno truggy right there and I did glue the tires on them but it's been so long ago, I really don't remember what I was doing. I know that the Truggy rims were not easy to glue up. All right. I noticed something right here is that this is laying there. So I better put this cap back on this before I do anything. I noticed that this tire right here, if you see that, it's kind of, it's not in there right. The 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 foam or something is not in there just right so this tire right here i have a feeling is going to give me fits and i may should take this out and maybe try to trim a little bit of that i really don't want to but uh i'm gonna do this tire last because i want the experience to be like I do three then when I get to that one I'm gonna feel more comfortable so that's what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna put glue on here right around here first then I'm gonna stuff the tire on there then I'm gonna try to get that front beat it up and then I'm gonna put the glue here then try to beat that up so we'll see what happens you know we may be throwing this thing in the trash who knows but I'm gonna put enough glue on here that it glues it, man. I mean, you can see the glue on there. I mean, I put a lot on there, all right? So, we're going on with the tire. I need to get up there where you can watch it now, don't I? Come on, go in there, go in there. Yeah, this is over as far as I can get it right there. So, I don't know exactly what's going wrong here. But, uh, see it doesn't go in there the same after you put glue on it. But, it looks like it's beat it up pretty good. So, except for right here. But it may be down a little bit better. So now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glue this part. I'm squeezing hard. I'm putting a lot of glue in there. 
All right, now we're trying to beat up this back part. See, now that the glue's on there, it doesn't really want to beat up like it's supposed to because it's, it's, it's touching the rim the, you know the rim is touching the you can see right there i got a lot of glue you can see it coming out but she's not beaded very good right there that's for sure so i'm already having a rough time that's okay it don't look like i really glued it that good right there so i'm into this i'm not i'm not doing this acting like I'm perfect, you know, because I'm not. I got a lot of glue right there. So let's see what the other side looks like. The other side has like a swelled up spot right there. This thing's getting pretty sticky. So we got one glued up. I'm not really excited about, uh, right here, it's got a spot that you can see right here, it's kind of swelled up. And I don't know why it didn't, I'm thinking that foam in there is causing me problems. So, I don't know what to do. So I'm actually pulling the tire right now across that foam, trying to get it to, get that to move over to here. And I did have a little bit of success. So we're gonna consider that one glued up. Uh, I don't want to put it down to where it's gonna get stuck to anything. Uh, Well, it's not on there good. It's going to have to be a back tire. So there we go. We're going to lean it up there. We're just going that one over there. So this time, we're going to try a different strategy. Just for the heck of it. Okay. So this time, we're going to put the tire on there. And we're going to get the back right here. That was the first time I ever tried it like that. So, uh, um, that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, there's no glue right here. And man, look how easy that goes in there when there's no glue. I mean, it just pops right in the, pops right in the slot, man. Ain't that sweet? So now I'm gonna put the glue on here. And then I'm probably going to start here at the D and go around and, um, and see how that works. So I'm going to put a bunch of glue back here on this. All right. I'm going to try to pop that tire in there with the glue on there. I am not having very good success here. Look at it, it's stuck to my hand. Did you see that? I put too much glue on there. I am hammering the heck out of this. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it, right? That's why I need comments down there to, to tell me that's pretty crazy. I've been doing this for years and that's probably about the worst job I've ever done, which is okay. I'm not embarrassed by it. Right there. It doesn't seem to want to 
go down in there. I wish I had glue that would actually, you know, you still have to let these set overnight before you run them. But I wish I actually had glue that set that set up slower than this. Man, I got glue all over my hands now. Look at that. Ooh, I even got tread marks out there on that thumb. Look at that. <laughs> I got little pin marks. Uh, that's pretty crazy. All right, man, that side there looks really good, but it doesn't have any glue in it. So what I'm going to do is... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to start right here at the D and go around a little bit. And uh, let's see what this one's looking like. That's the first one I glued up. It don't look too bad. Other than there's a big, it's a little bit lopsided right here. But it's also lopsided right there too. So uh, for some reason, you know, you may be able to. I have pulled this stuff over after, even sometimes after it runs, that foam in there will kind of readjust itself a little bit. All right, now we're going to try to glue up this front part of this wheel. I don't know, man, this might not have been that great of an idea. I wonder if this wheel, if this tire will break if I, I wonder if this tire will break if I take it all the way out onto the top up there. All the way around. I'm so desperate. I'm willing to try this. So now I can just put the glue on and then, then pull that tire off of that bead. And so we're going to glue her up. We're going to put glue all over this. And I mean, I put like three times as much glue as I need on there. So now we're going to pop this bead off and try to get this tire to go down in that bead. Wow. Now that was great. That was great. It might not be all the way in right there, but yeah, that worked pretty good. That worked pretty good. So this tire actually looks a lot better than the other one, except I got glue all over the back, which is not all that cool. So, it kind of looks like it might not be all the way beat it up right there. All right, I'm not using the razor blade. I'm just pushing. Just pushing right there. Trying to push that down. Okay, well, we're going to call it quits on that one. So, I guess on uh, this one, we're going to try the we're going to try the same thing. I'm going to put the tire on in the back first. Well, I'm going to put it in here first with no glue. All right. Now I'm going around the edge here. Now I'm ready to try some glue. Now I'm going to try to beat her up. Pulling her out over that lip. Putting her in that hole. Put her in that bead. I'll tell you what. Look at that. That's perfect. 
and it happens like that all the time. You know, you, you get started and, uh, you always get better at it as you go along. And, uh, so that's the way it goes in the big city. All right. I'm going to beat, I'm going to pull this. I'm going to let this side dry a little bit. I'm going to set this tire down and wheel down right here. And I'm going to go ahead and glue the back of this one because my hand's getting stuck back here. The, the glue around the edge is getting on my hands. When I'm working up here, my hand's getting stuck. You can see right there where I got, uh, you know, it's pretty gross. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one first. I'm going to, and this is with the tire that had the kind of the weird looking thing in the back of it where it didn't look really all that. Uh, and I apologize if I'm not keeping this in the, I'm going to post whatever happens here. I mean, I need some content. Uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, man, it's so easy to do when there's no glue on there. That's, you know, that's a crazy thing. So, uh, now I'm ready to glue up the back and, uh, look at all the, man, I should have, you know, I actually have gloves upstairs. I should have them on right now, but, but I don't. So we're going to glue, we're going to put some glue around. We're going to bead this up with some glue. I can actually see where I stopped at because you know, it's wet. So now we're going to, oh, look, I put way too much on there. It's dripping. It's okay. We'll get around there to where it's dripping at. And uh, we'll make sure that glue stays on the tire. Yeah, I'm just kind of doing a little bit at a time here. Look at my hand. I feel like I'm in that show jackass right now. Yeah, I knew that this lip here was going to give me a little bit of trouble. It's okay. Yeah, I put way too much glue on there, man. I don't know if you can see it down there on the on the on the floor, but uh let's see what we got here. It don't look too bad. There's a section right there that doesn't really look like it's Yeah, that's all right. All right. We'll let that set up a little bit. I'm going to wipe this glue off right here. Oh, wow. Look at that. The <laughs> It stuck right to it. And it's sticking to my hand, too. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. It's okay. We're going to keep on going. We're going to pull this bead up here again, like I did on that other wheel. Get there. Now we're going to glue it up. I got a little bit of glue on the outside there. I'm going to try to wipe that off real quick. All right. That just popped right into place. That was easy pleasy. So, uh, you know, this right here ain't that great, but whatever. We're going to, uh, we're going to get this up here and glue this last one up. <clears throat> I 
There we go. Now we're going to put some glue on there. All right. We'll pop all this down into place. Whoops. Get in there, buddy. Isn't that something? Man, that's... It's almost the best one I've done. Matter of fact, that is the best one I've done. Look at that. Looks good. There's a little bit of spot right... No, it went in there. Look at that. Well, okay. That is a non-professional short course glue-up job. There's the fronts, there's the backs, but you know what the main thing is? We're going to be out on the track running and racing. So yeah, we're going to be racing in uh, Brown at Brown's Hobby Shop, Arndell, Ohio on Saturdays and Sundays. Look them up on, uh, they have a Facebook page and uh, they have a super cross caliber track. Well, if you got any comments, I need all the comments. I need all the help I can get. I'm open to all suggestions. So thank you for watching Mr. Big Chris. We'll see you next time.